Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Rashad is getting ready to share some things you may not have known about the church. Listen up. I have been a member of God's Church of Love for about two years now, and I just want to tell y'all that this is one of the best things that have ever happened to me in my life. And I'm not trying to sound dramatic, but it really has been. Pat has been a tremendous help for me for a very long time. She has helped me through a lot of trials. God has used her. And he spoke through her. He got me back on track when I wanted to give up and quit. She always been there to, to just speak to me and speak wisdom on me and just give me encourage me. And like nobody else has ever done. Like really, to be honest, and it's not the bash any regular churches because I'm all for going to church. But this is the church that I've, I've I've been to a lot, and this is the church that I feel like I've been really connected with people. Really, I felt like people actually wanted to take the time to really just talk with me, and and and, it, and I believe, and I feel that they really care that I'm not just a number in the pew, but I'm actually a person that they can connect with. And again, it's not fashion, but it just feels I, I just feel like throughout this time, me going to this church and me just. It's been, it has been also, it's been a lot easier too to, to attend because all it is the click of a button and you're on. You don't have to get in the car, you don't have to drive nowhere, you don't have to get no route from anyone. You're, as long as you have internet or source of a connection, you can connect with us and you can join and you can speak. And if you want to just listen and observe, you can do that. But everybody is welcome here, and that's what I like about it. It's no judge zone or nothing like that. We don't judge. We don't try to tell you what not to say, how to say it. We all are respectful towards each other, but we really, you know, I, I just feel, I feel like without this, or if I've never have found Pat and her channel and joined, and joined her church, I probably would have gave up a long time ago. I wouldn't still be where I'm at now, which on a, a, a good paying job, steady paying job, still on it, been on it for, and, it, and this is the longest I've been on the job for about two and a half years now, one or three years. This is my third year. And she has helped me with my job. So by just getting me, encourage, encouraging me to continue to go and to stay and to not quit, and, um, and also not to just be stagnated and just not try to grow, but actually, you know, venture out and look for other opportunities out there as well. Stay on my job and continue to, you know, excel with it. And so I'm just sending a message out to everybody on YouTube and everybody out there. Find a church home that you can connect with and that you feel that God has guided you to this place, and you will know because you will keep going. <laughs> if you feel like God is not guiding to that particular church you're attending now, and you're, you have a hard time going steadily, then that should tell you right there. But I'm asking you and I'm urging you to not be alone, to not get by yourself. If God is calling you to do that. Do it, but do not make that a permanent decision where you just cut out all connection with churches and all connection with the people of the church because, it, again, we are the body of Christ. Your body needs every part to operate. One person is out, that is affecting the body of Christ. And the enemy likes to create division, and he likes to keep us away, and he likes to keep us by ourselves, be loners and not connect with no one, and just live the rest of our life being alone. And that's not what God called his children to be. We are here to help one another. We are here to, to help, to, to heal one another, speak words of wisdom and encourage each other, because without this, I wouldn't have had any when it, they encouraged me to keep going, I would have gave up because yeah, I'm by myself. So I'm just urging everybody to go out and seek. Ask God, where should I go at? What church should I attend? But you need to attend the church. And I'm not saying that in a religious way, like go to church or you read your Bible. I'm saying join a church and connect with the body of Christ and grow together in God. That's all I'm saying. And again, this is God's Church of Love online, and I'm a happy happily a member of the church and I've been here two and a half years and I'm going to continue to stay here as long as God is telling me to stay and as long as I feel like I'm connecting and as, as long as I'm feeling like this is this, this is my home. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much, Rashad. Wow. 
I really appreciate <laughs> that. I really do. Because a lot of people, you know, they have issues about people being online and like, well, you need to be at a local church. And that is the best scenario. It's always the greatest scenario mm -hmm. to be at a local church. But while you're in the middle of the search, while you're in the middle of your hunt, connect online, whether it's us or another group, but find a group that works for you where they don't compromise the gospel, where they're not uh, patty cake in the truth, where they don't pamper you when you're wrong. They tell you, but they tell you in love. And if you're willing, you will grow, whether it's with us or with another group. But just know you must be connected to the vine. Jesus is the vine. We are the branches. So listen, whatever you do, I thank you. I would love to see you join us on Saturdays and Tuesdays. That would be beautiful. The information will be below in the description box. But if we don't work for you, there are other groups out there that will work. And you know what will work for you. We try our best to give the word. We try our best to bring the word where you live, where the rubber meets the road. God's word is applicable to the here and now and to you. God bless you. And thank you so much, Rashad.